So I have no idea if this video has been done before, but I just thought of it and I thought it would be really fun. So if this trend isn't a thing already, I want to start a video trend. I want other people to do it like back in the day in YouTube I want to do a video about every season and what trends I think should come back every season or at least this season or whatever you want it to be so I'm starting with this one trends that I think should come back every single summer I want to talk about like a long wear skin but also I want like a brightened complexion I want to be like bright glowing from within complexion but with a long wear base so here's what i'm gonna do i'm going to use the covergirl brighten color correcting serum moisturizer primer okay because the other thing with this why it's so interesting to me the less layers that you have i feel like the better your makeup is going to be like sweat proof if that makes sense like you just have less things that can melt off of your face it feels so nice i always like to top off my primers with like a setting spray so i'm using the covergirl clean fresh priming glow mist because of course why would we not use them together i've already gone through an entire bottle of this and repurchased that's how much i like it so these are a perfect combo Another trend that I think should always come back in the summer because it's just so practical and it can be so beautiful is powder foundation. Now I've tried a few. I like the Revolution one. I like the Makeup Forever one, but during the summer, I want that extra glow and I always go back to the Bare Minerals original powder. I know, I know. It seems like one of those weird products, like who uses that anymore, but I promise you it is so so good there is a reason that they're still making it and it's because it's so good i think that bare minerals also has like a pressed formula but i always go back to the loose powder one it's just my my preference but it's totally up to you and the reason i like the bare minerals one is because it is a really good long wear powder foundation that can be full coverage but it has this beautiful glow to it if you have um, oily skin they also have a matte version but the original is glowy and I love that so I'm just going to conceal around the eyes and color correct with my Milani color corrector in peach and my elf flawless brightening concealer I'm just going to start by tapping on first and then buffing from there I'm also starting in the center of my face and working my way outward because the center is where I have the most redness and where I need my most coverage. See, look at that glow, but I am fully powdered. I'm fully dry to the touch and I just have the glow and it feels like I have nothing on my skin. That is the best part. Another summer trend that I think should come back every single year is orange blush i love these corally peachy orange blushes so i have a couple that here that i want to mention and then i'll just pick one to use i love the pixie on the glow blushes and this is in the shade and this is in the shade juicy obviously it's this really bright orange color it's absolutely gorgeous i don't prefer to use cream blush when i have powder foundation on but i Thought I should mention it and then I have the elf bite size blush and highlight duos this is in the shade white peach gorgeous gorgeous pure orange blush it's so flattering though and the highlights gorgeous as well and then an oldie but a goodie good old Milani baked blush in the shade Coralina now back in the day when everyone loved Luminoso I liked it too but I always liked Coralina more and I never understood why this one wasn't getting more hype. It is such a beautiful orangey pink blush with like gold highlight worked into it and it's beautiful. And then one of the things that is newer to my collection that is so, so beautiful is the Juvia's Place Blush Duo. I have the shade Volume 2, which has this pretty peach, but it also has this gorgeous, gorgeous orange 
how beautiful is that i have a video of me using this really recently so i will link it down below i think i'm gonna go with the elf bite size today the next trend that i think should always always come back is basically fluttery lashes with a bold lip let's put on these lashes so i have my one of my favorite pairs of ardell's uh the naked lashes in size 420 or the style 420 i i might try these for the first time on like tiktok or something because i don't I don't, I'm a little bit intimidated by that, but I love these fluttery guys from Ardell. So I'm going to throw these on and then we're going to do a bold lip. Now you can probably tell from the thumbnail that I'm going to do a red lip, but I think any bold lip is cool in the summer. I mean, it's cool all the time, really, but I think it's extra, extra fun in the summer. Like I want to see orange. I want to see red. I want to see hot pink. Oh my God, a hot pink. Could you imagine? I love like a floral, like a really bright floral sundress and a hot pink lip walking down the beach. I love that. So I just threw on the lash and then I just do a little bit of like a smudgy liner to kind of blend everything in because I'm doing minimal make like minimal eyeshadow you know i'm going to throw on a red lip like i said i'm gonna do like an orangey red lip because i think that's like what fits me best i guess but any orangey reddish pink lip i think is so good in the summer So good and I literally always forget to film my setting spray because I forget to put it on until I'm about to leave my house so here I'm just going to mention the best setting spray revolution specifically has like a bunch of different setting sprays and some of them are crazy crazy strong and this is one of them it's the sport fix lasting hold setting spray this put this on girl your makeup's going nowhere, especially if you use it like after primer, after cream steps, after powder steps, and like right at the end of your makeup, your makeup isn't going anywhere all summer. Check this out. Let me go put on something a little bit more flattering with a red lip and I'll be right back. Let's all just ignore how bad my hair looks. I literally just washed it last night, but I used some new styling products and they have made my hair so greasy and it feels like like there's something thick on my hair so let's just ignore that I just put on a black halter just to you know let the red lip shine on its own so i definitely want to see y'all's trends that you think it should come back every single year i didn't do a hairstyle i feel like i should have like i feel like i should have done like a cute updo or something but i'm not really a hair girl if you can't tell like i just i want to chop this hair off all the time like i need to take two more inches off or something but anyway I am so curious to see y'all's like rendition of this video and what summer trends you think should come back every single year. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you recreate this video, definitely tag me or whatever you can do on YouTube and subscribe if you haven't already. Everything I used on or off camera will be listed in the description bar below along with my Instagram, my TikTok, and my other YouTube channel. I will see you guys in another video very soon. Bye!